गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ इंक्रीमेंटल इंक्रीज मेथड ओके इन द प्रीवियस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड यू अबाउट द इंक्रीमेंटल इंक्रीजिंग मेथड आई हैव डिस्कस्ड यू अबाउट ओके एंड वट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स वील बी डूइंग इन द अरिथमेटिकल इंक्रीजिंग मेथड और जोमेट्रिक इंक्रीजिंग मेथड आई हैव डिस्कस्ड विथ यू एंड हियर इट इज अ फॉर्मूला I have told you about the geometrical increasing method. Here is the formula. That is, we can say that is p n equals to p whole into one plus i g by hundred at by n root of that is whole of whole to the power n. Okay, as all of you know, p n we know populations after n decade and p equals to present populations and i g that is average percentage growth and n we can say it is as number of decade. Okay. Number of decade that we can say ten years equals to one decade or twenty years equals to two decade we can say it as. And here we have been done the problems of geometrical increasing method. I have been done. Okay. Next we will be doing about incremental increasing methods. I have told you about the incremental increasing method. In this method. the average increase in populations is determined by the arithmetical method and to this the average of the net incremental increasing method once for each future decade okay so we can say that in this method the rate of the growth is not constant okay and it whether otherwise the populations it may be decreased or it may be increased okay so in we will do the problems in this method pn so in this formula in, in in incremental increasing method this formula will be doing it pn equals to p plus n whole into ia plus ic or we can say that pn equals to p plus n whole into x plus y okay we can take it as from the two formula we can take it as one formula we can take it same All of you know p n equals to populations after n decade and p that is present populations. Now what is the populations or in the problem problems or in the examples you have been given? What is the present populations you have been you have been given? Okay, plus n that is number of decades. I have told you decades means what you know ten years equals to one decade, two years, twenty years equals to you can say two decades. You can say. Next is i a i a means average arithmetical increase. and next is ic that is average incremental increase okay so we can say that or next formula we can take it as pn equals to p plus n whole into x plus y x we can also take if in ia we can also take it as x or we can take ic as a y okay so we can say that x also equals to average arithmetical increasing method and y equals to average incremental increase okay so we will be doing the problems the same problem will be doing it that is you know i have given the questions you have been given in the arithmetical increasing method in the year 1940 that is population is 8000 and in 1950 the population is 12000 In nineteen sixty, the population is seventeen thousand. Okay, and in nineteen seventy, the population is twenty two thousand five hundred. Okay, next we'll be finding out increase in populations. We can say it as x, or we can say it as i a. Okay, we can take it as. I have told you you can also take it as i a, or you can take it as x. In i a, you have been. Finding out the increase in populations in the geometrical increasing method or in arithmetical increasing method, you are finding out this increase in populations. Okay, same you will be finding out in this process. Okay, so if you take the populations as P one as eight thousand, P two as twelve thousand, P three as seventeen thousand, P four as twenty two thousand five hundred, so we can say that P two minus P one that is four thousand and P three minus P two that is five thousand. We can say seventeen thousand minus twelve thousand, we get it five thousand, and twenty two thousand five hundred minus seventeen thousand, we get it as five thousand five hundred. Okay, we all got it four thousand five thousand and five thousand five hundred. We all got it. After taking it, we'll be taking it as an average. Okay, total we got it fourteen thousand five hundred, and by doing it average, 
that is 14,500 divided by 3. Okay, we'll be getting it as 4,833. Okay, next we'll be finding out the incremental increase that is increment on the increase method. Okay, all of you, we all of us find as x, we can find out or we can say x in instead of x, we can take it as also i a. Next, we'll be find out incremental increase. Incremental increase means if we will take the average of x that is or we can take the average of i a okay that is increase in population we take an average of that okay so we can say if you take it as x1 x2 x3 or i a1 i a2 i a3 okay so we can do the average of this by doing average we will be getting it the incremental increase i have told you in the previous slide, I have told you IC means what? Average incremental increase. So, average incremental increase means the average of the IA. That is X. We can say that. Okay. While doing the average of this, average of increase in population, we can take it as X, X1 as 4000, X2 as 5000 or X3 as 5500. Okay. While averaging it or while subtracting from incremental increasing method, we can say that x2 minus x1 will be getting at 5000 minus 4000 will be getting it as 1000 and while x3 minus x2 5500 minus 5000 will be getting it as 500 okay after doing adding this or after getting the average of incremental method we will be getting it getting it as we will be getting a total 1500 divided by 2 okay divide by 2 that is we will be getting it as 700 750 okay we will doing it as average we will be getting it as 750 okay so how we got ia on or we can say ia as x or i c as y how we got it all of you know ia and ic ia means increase in populations and i ia means increase in populations and ic means average of the ia okay so we can say that the incremental increase that is we will be getting it by dividing same procedure by average it. Okay, that is we will be getting it as x, x as a 4833 or we can take as ia as 4833 and ic as 750 or y equals to 7 equals to 750. Okay, we have got it x we have got it x bar we have got it y bar we have got it next we will be putting in the formula okay in the formula we have seen here the populations of the end the various ticket we have we have to calculate the same uh, same population here that is p980 990 and that is 2000 we will be calculating that in the year 1980 you all of you i have shown you the formula here pn equals to p plus n whole into ia plus ic okay so we can say that in p 1980 present population we have got it you know p that is the present populations we will be dealing with 22500 as we know the present populations here you have taken 1970 the present population is 22500 okay so 22500 plus n will be taking it as one how you all of you know 1980 if we do 1980 minus 1970 we will be taking it as 10 years as we know 10 years equals to 1 decade so we will be taking it as 1 into whole into 4833 plus 750 4833 means we will be taking it as we will be taking we will be taking it as 4833 means x we will be taking it as okay or we can take it as ia and 750 means we will be taking it as y or we can take it as IC okay after doing this doing this solving this we will be getting it as 23 28083 okay we will be getting it as same in the same formula we will be applying it in P1990 PN that is PN equals to P plus N whole into IA plus IC we can say take it as this formula we can take it as 28000 same population we can present population you can also take it as p1980 plus whole into 400 we can take it as ia 4000 
833 plus 750 into 1 that is number of decades we can we will get is a 33,666 same formula we will be putting it in the population 2000 33,666 plus 4,833 plus 750 into 1 as a n equals to number of decades so p2000 equals to 39,249 okay so the decreasing rate method we will be discussing in the next classes okay thank you